Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss. The show is brought to you by SportBikeWrench.com. Performance parts and professional advice. Remember, when you buy from Sport Bike Wrench, you support our programming here at On The Throttle. We're back with our Project R6, with the unfortunate news from Jerry Piazza that our front end needs his attention in that it is bent. So what that means is we need to get the bike in the air to completely remove the triple clamps and the forks. Now normally you've seen us use our pit bull stands to go ahead and hold the bike up in the air to remove forks. However, in this instance, we're not able to do that. So we're gonna to have to get the bike in the air. So the first and most important part of the job is to get the bike lifted. Now there's many ways to do that. If you have frame sliders, which we don't on this bike, you can use the pit bull stands to hold onto the frame sliders. But in this instance, because we don't have any other option, we're gonna pick the bike up and balance it using the stock exhaust with a jack stand and a block of wood. So let's get started with our show. Now, obviously we're gonna deal with the circumstances that we have dealt here. Stock exhaust is extremely strong. There's no problems there in using our block of wood and our jack stand to support it so Chris, when I lift the bike up, he's gonna sit it right under here, right on the join on the broadest part of the exhaust right there, where the bike will be balanced properly and held no problem by a pit bull rear stand. Right under the joints? Yeah, the, where the two come together. Now that took a little time to experiment with and it's great to have two people because you can balance and hold the bike. So you can see where we ended up here, where the four down tubes go into their own section before the collector. Bike's rock solid, it's not going anywhere. If you'd like to feel more secure in doing this because we have a bench, you could run a tie down from the subframe to the bench itself just to hold it on the back side of the bike, but we're pretty rock solid here. We have to have the bike like this because the whole front end is coming off. Now make sure that when you do this particular type of job, the space you are using is fine. You don't want to have to come in and have to roll the chassis around on its back wheel time after time after time. So pick a place where you know the bike can just sit there for an extended period of time. Because sometimes you're looking at a couple of weeks before you get the stuff back to then reassemble the bike and have it ready to roll again. So we're going to go at this systematically. Our first job, remove the brake calipers and then remove the front wheel. Now you're going to remove the fender. There are two Allen bolts here, but this reflector is also part of this. So you're going to have to be very careful when you remove this particular one. Also on the back side of this bolt is a 10 millimeter nut. So just hold it with your hand. At this point, we're now ready to take each fork leg out. There are two pinch bolts right here on the lower triple clamp. There's a pinch bolt up top on the upper triple clamp and there's the same six millimeter Allen bolt on the handlebar itself on the back side. So you have one, two, four bolts, and then the fork will come out. Important to notice on the 09 R6 that the fork position is at line number two, so it will go back to that stock position when we get the forks back from Jerry. Sometimes, especially in a crash, these will be bound up, be quite tight. Some of the bolts will be extra tight, feel very stiff. Don't worry about that, back them off. And then when you get to the last bolt, just to make sure it doesn't shoot out from underneath you, you might want to hold on to the fork leg. Now the beauty of the 09 R6 is that the handlebars will stay bolted to the triple clamp when you do a fork removal, but we have to remove everything. So we're going to have to undo the handlebars at some point. First step when removing triple clamps is to go ahead and take off the top lock nut. Use the steering stem stops on the lower triple to hold that in place to allow you to take that nut off. Now we've got that done, we have to start at the top and work our way down now taking everything off we need out of the way. We have little 
plastic covers over the Allen bolts holding the handlebar, so those will be removed plus the Allen bolts. And then we need to remove the reservoir from the upper triple clamp with that Allen bolt right there. Now when you're undoing the handlebars, they're eventually gonna come loose. So you need to make sure that as you loosen them, you hold each one and then lay it into a position out of the way. So this will not come back out of our way. We are connected to the horn. So in order to clear that, we need to go ahead and remove the horn. Electrical connector. We have electrical connector on this side, which we can unplug, which is easy. But our clutch cable runs through a piece of the componentry that's gonna go away. So we also need to disconnect the clutch cable itself. So now our handlebar is out of the way. The bolt that connects it is good. All our electricals undone. Feed the clutch cable completely out of the way. So it's disconnected from the triple clamp. So there are several things we need to do on the right handlebar to take care of removing it out of the way. But the only thing that's connected to our lower triple clamp is our brake reservoir line that runs down to the splitter here. So if we were to just quite simply disconnect with an out using the Allen here, undo our eight millimeter bolt here, our braking system is then completely removed so we don't have to disconnect the throttle and the electrical from our right handlebar. In order to remove our upper triple clamp, we have our ignition, obviously, attached in the center. So there's two simple snap connectors here that need to come apart. There's one. There's two. And our upper triple clamp will come off. Don't forget to remove the washer off the top for now. Now we want to check what we have left to remove on our lower triple clamp. We have a plastic guide here for the throttle cables. That's just the push pin, so we can eject the push pin, which will then release our cables from the triple clamp. Then we have our plastic protection plate underneath and our horn mounting bracket. So we need a couple 10 millimeters here and remove the push pin and we should be good to go. Now we can see our lower triple clamp is completely free, so now we can disassemble it from the frame itself. On the top, straddling the two lock nuts, we have a little clip that needs to come off first. Just set that on top of the tank. Your lock ring might be a little loose. That's okay on this particular one because you have a soft rubber washer underneath it. Go ahead and remove that. Now support the lower triple clamp in your hand and push up. You wanna keep that tension. This should be either just a hair tight or hand tight, which is good. So then go ahead, unscrew that, but retain the pressure on the base of the triple clamp. You should never see thread disappearing in. You wanna see it just stationary. That way nothing will fall out. Now the lower triple clamp and steering stem will quite simply fall out. And there you have it. Now, Jerry wants everything, but I don't think he wants bearings. So we'll take that off and we'll go ahead and give him the lock nuts, the washer, and the upper triple clamp all as one assembly and the forks as separate assemblies. We'll box them up and ship them away. And what's important is you line up both castle nuts. 
so that you can insert the washer with the legs on it precisely into position. Put the upper triple clamp over the top. Get your washer and your nut. And just screw it down hand tight. And now it's ready to ship. So forks in one box, triple clamps in a separate box. Well, there you have it. How to remove the front end, including the forks and the triple clamps on a 2009 R6. Join us next time when we get our forks and triple clamps back straight so that we can go ahead, reassemble our 09 R6 and have it back to rolling status. So we'll see you next time on Performance Upgrades.